dating game can be an emotional uh -huh. minefield. Sure yeah, it's much clearer now. But new research shows just how much time and money Australian singles are spending trying to find their perfect match. According to the eHarmony study, singles are spending an average of almost $1,000 a year and a whopping, get this, 174 hours viewing, scrolling, clicking and swiping in the hope of hooking up with Mr or Ms Wright. Yes, well, while apps are making it easier to catch those many fish in the sea, the study indicates half of all Aussies looking for love feel like they're wasting their time. Oh. Psychologist and relationship expert with eHarmony, Sharon Draper, has popped by for a chat. Uh, Sharon, good morning yeah, to you. Some would think the dating game would be easier f with all of this online mm. help. I must admit, I was pre the online era when mm. I was dating. Yeah. Feels like... It should be easier this way, but not necessarily? Yeah, it, it really depends on um, what sort of apps you're using, I think, because there are a lot of apps nowadays where you can just really find somebody who's close to you, like in location, or just looks a certain way and you try and meet people that way, but it lacks a little bit of depth or compatibility with your values. So that kind of takes a long time to really wade through all those people, you know, in the hopes of meeting somebody that's really compatible with you if you're only looking at one aspect. Okay, so this meeting. study says we're spending $1,000, so many hours yeah. viewing and scrolling and clicking. Are yes. we better off taking our money and joining the local archery club? Uh, <laughs> you know, and doing it the old-fashioned old fashioned way. Well, there, there is that. I mean, you can find sort of organic things to go to, but everything costs money these days. So I think you've got to be careful and maybe be more conscious of where you're putting your money and, and maybe paying for things that are more valuable. So there are apps nowadays that actually, where well, you might be paying more than those free apps where you swipe, um, but they actually match you up with people who are more compatible based on your values. So, Sharon, for a couple of old who weren't in yeah. the game. Oh, I would, I, you know, I wouldn't necessarily frame it that way. <laughs> who weren't but in a the, couple of happily married <laughs> yeah. people. Who weren't in the game this way, at least. Yes. And there'll be a lot of people watching yeah. who haven't dated this way. Just explain how it works. And this swipe left, swipe right. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I think, you know, what I'd encourage people to do is do some research before you just launch into it. And um, so, again, there's certain kinds of apps that you, that you can expose yourself to. There are a lot that are just pretty much you put in some limited information and um, you just try to find somebody who you kind of is this, you know the, the characteristics that you like and then you start chatting that way okay. so you're yeah. a psychologist I think yes I think the time has passed now that there is a stigma attached to this yeah. I think there probably was a stigma yeah. yes absolutely. Yeah. a while ago initially I think now yeah. it, it seems everybody who is single tends to be on some sort of yes. app. fair to say that any sort of stigma is long gone yes absolutely yeah. De definitely there is okay. thank, thank goodness because what, what it's a great opportunity to yeah. meet people so what mistakes are we making then in the dating game um, I, I, so yeah, I think I think it's really important that we know ourselves before we go into something. I think a lot of people jump into these things and it's a bit of an ego stroke as well in some ways of getting people to like you. Mm. And then that's not really the right way to meet people of value. So I think we really need to know yourself as much as you can, know what you're really wanting and um, let your guard down as well. I've heard <laughs> that what happens is... Yeah, sometimes knows more about I, this know, than we know, I spend a lot of time in the makeup room where this gets discussed a lot. Uh, a, lot of, a good thing to do maybe let your friend have it and click and yeah. the friend <laughs> yes. clicks on people that you might not necessarily Have you been the friend on. for somebody? No, I, ha I, I haven't, but I've heard okay. this is a good yeah. thing because, you know what, sometimes the list now that we're all coming up with yes. is way too long. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that really limits ourselves as well. Yeah. Like it needs to be this type of person and you're never going to find, you need to be open-minded yeah. as much as possible. So let a friend maybe mm. click on yep. you. Yep. Sharon Draper, thanks thing. for popping by. Thank you. I hope everybody is lucky in love. <laughs> if you're searching, good luck. Keep at it.